The first reason why Halo is one of my favorite games is that no matter how high the stakes of war, no matter how low the odds of victory, humanity can always count on the biologically enhanced super soldier known as Master Chief to drive a forklift because it's funny. Get off of the lift, please. I'm fine. Come on I'm now. Fine. Hey, you're gonna you're gonna hurt yourself. Here go. Would you look? No, oh, oh, oh. We'll get somebody to clean that up. We're the ones that gotta clean that up. Literally everyone dies in Halo Reach. Funniest game I've ever played. Wow. You know what this is? <laughs> Teabagging me. Yeah. That is a teabag. Yeah. Which brings me to the second reason why Halo is one of my favorite games. I actually get to play it. Uh-oh. I blew myself up by accident. I saw the whole thing. Most story-driven experiences are single player, especially first-person shooters. And I'd honestly rather watch Matt do it because he knows gun fu. And I didn't know I had throwing knives until the last level of Wolfenstein. I don't for me, want please, to. For me, throw a knife at this guy, please. For He's me. running. For He's me, too will you throw far one for running. me? Will you try one time for me so that you can see how much you love it? Oh, you love it. Bam. And he's. I hate to say I told her so, but I told her so. <laughs> but how did the knife? I, I told her so. However, in Halo. Oh. Let's be honest, I'm still watching Matt do it, but I'm watching him do it through the visor of player two, co-op mode. The only mode that can instantly turn a broken, ambiguously offensive mess into a Girlfriend Reviews Game of the Year. That's why waiting for Halo Infinite since 2018 felt like this. Then right before it finally arrived, <laughs> they killed player two. No! And I don't know who this Forge guy is, but they killed him too. Everything's not awesome. So no, everything is not awesome about Halo Infinite for me. But I watched Matt play it by himself anyway, because at least I can always count on Master Chief to drive a forklift because it's funny. Oh yeah, get in there. Oh yeah, what? I don't think you can drive it in this game. No! This isn't a review of Halo Infinite's co-op campaign, because it doesn't have one. This is a review of what it's like to live with someone who plays Halo Infinite without you. This video is sponsored by Dr. Squatch, cause Halo made Matt very stinky. Halo Infinite released in two halves a month apart. First came the competitive multiplayer. <laughs> Matt practically got a degree in Halo's multiplayer at UC Santa Cruz, so he's already played Infinite for over 176 hours. And every day he asks if I saw that epic kill he got, and every day I tell him the same thing. It's terribly loud. For backseat gamers, the multiplayer is a cacophony of bloodshed and five different voices narrating the bloodshed. Overkill. There's a sexy voice talking about balls dropping. Ball drop. Ball drop. There's a robot voice confirming what item you just picked up. I hope you know what you're doing. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Huh. There's Spartan voices identifying enemies by saying Another one Whenever there's Another one There's teammate voices making useful call-outs such as you farting right now, dude? <laughs> no, that's not here. And lastly, there's Matt letting the neighbors know he got a no-scope by yelling The worst part about watching someone play multiplayer, though, is watching them try to play the multiplayer. Not only is it a buzz-killing struggle just to start a fire team with friends. What is going on? Why does this? It says yeah, there's okay, four try. people in here. Right now it says I like dots just left and then rejoined. I'm not in it though. But when partying up does work, it's still a roll of the dice whether or not everyone successfully loads into the match. I'm, I'm seeing the Slayer Fiesta, 50 kills to win, 12 minutes. What? I'm just seeing oh a loading screen. Oh my god, screen. I'm stuck in a loading screen, dude. Oh like the my. Oh, my God.
Oh my god. Half the time, half the party needs to back out, and the other half needs to force quit their game, then repeat steps pee pee through poo poo until the entire fire team is finally playing Halo together. And even then, there's a good chance the fire team will be split up and put onto different fire teams. When that happens, the friends you came here with get lost in a sea of blue gamer tags. But if you ever need to know the exact location of Lieutenant Muffin, this complete stranger you don't care about, his gamer tag is conveniently highlighted in green. The cherry on top of the whole matchmaking rigmarole, though, is that leaving a match if it failed to load for a friend, or being the friend a match failed to load for, are both punishable by a ban. You're ban I'm banned. I got banned. Uh, You're banned? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, what? I can't play. William Osman. Halo Infinite hereby finds you guilty on all counts of not playing Halo Infinite because Halo Infinite wouldn't let you play Halo Infinite. And the penalty for not playing Halo Infinite is not being able to play Halo Infinite. You are banned. But I gotta admit, despite all that jank, the actual gameplay looked better than ever. <laughs> <laughs> and with William Osman out of the picture, I joined Matt's fire team. It's over. We are screwed. So I guess this next section will be a review of Halo Infinite from the perspective of every team's bottom player. Look at that. Me on the top, Shelby on the bottom. As usual. Fortunately, Matt agreed to teach me everything he knew and turned this bottom into a power bottom. Okay, so this is the setup for Ranked Slayer. Ranked Slayer. Ranked is really sweaty. If you're going to play it with me, you got to be good. You got to know where the stuff is and how to do things. Okay? Okay. All right? Ooh. Come with me. Ah, yeah. Ooh. This is the power weapon on the field in this map. It's the energy yeah. sword. Okay. The okay. energy sword can change the tide of battle. It's a one-hit kill. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it will lunge. It even has a lunge. I will show you. No. <laughs> okay. See? And then you can do this. Do you know what this game mode is called? This is Capture the Flag. It's called Capture the Flag. Okay, what you want to do in Halo Infinite Capture the Flag is throw yourself at the enemy flag over and over again, totally disregarding any enemies who may be shooting at you, and until your KD is negative 6.0, in hopes that by a miracle, you will have an opening and can make the flag all the way home. Now, let me show you a little trick if your booty's really pumping. My booty's always pumping, baby. You want to sprint, jump, and while you're in the air, change weapons so it drops the flag, and then pick the flag back up up immediately upon landing and do that over and over. Watch me as I go. You are exposed, Spartan. Use extreme You see how much faster I can get the flag? <laughs> yeah. Let's see you do it now. The empty carrier has revealed themselves. How do I drop it? Okay, now that I've experienced it for myself, listen up 343. I don't know much about computers, but I have some notes, starting with the game modes. Slayer, classic. Capture the flag, yup. Stockpile, I don't know, because every time the lady said, stockpile, Matt would back us out of the lobby like, oh my God. All right, get me out of here. Okay, moving on to the weapons. Gravity hammer, <laughs> got him. Shock rifle. <laughs> Ravager? Well, it looks like the deadliest gun in the game. And oh mama, I can charge it up all the way then. I'm alright. I'm not hurt. Lastly, my favorite part of any game, accessorizing. In Halo Reach, I painted my lady so nice however I wanted. And in Halo Infinite, $20 to rotate a who? If you're gonna make a game free to play, monetizing the absolute basics, such as the color white, is a stupid ass decision. Which is probably why I've never seen anyone wearing the color white, like. I recognize the council has made a decision. But given that it's a stupid ass decision, I've elected to ignore it. Other than that, I just wanna say that I love this game. And yet, we've reached the part of the video where I'd put my review of the co-op campaign. If I had one. So instead, here's my review of what it's like to live with someone who plays the campaign without you. Halo Infinite's campaign might be the best in the series. Over the course of this beautiful 20-hour journey, I could barely believe what my eyes were seeing. But what amazed me the most was what I could not see. A single goddamn reason there's no co-op. Everything's not awesome. In conclusion, Halo Infinite really makes you feel like Spider-Man. Okay, bye. Woo!
You like me spider maning around? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> so I went down and up a little bit? Yeah, Ooh. I see. You're playing Flappy the Bird. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> well, with all this gaming, our butts have gotten pretty swampy. I've also been packing our entire house because we're moving again, so I've been extra stinky. Good thing today's sponsor, Dr. Squatch, can help with that. As a former cosmetic salesperson, soap maker, and present day stinky gamer, soap and bath products are actually something I'm very passionate about. Folks, I'm happy to say Dr. Squatch has met my high soap standards. Here are my favorite things. First off, their products are natural. You'll find yummy stuff like honey, goat's milk, essential oils, and plant extracts in the ingredient list instead of those long, confusing sci-fi words. Second, ooh, baby, they smell good. They're fresh, bright, woody, and spicy. Matt loves the Bay Rum scent and ripped open the first box we got like an animal. I think my favorite is the wood barrel bourbon, but honestly, I like them all. Yeah, these soaps are made for men, but I could be a man and I think the scents are great for everyone. Another thing to love about Dr. Squatch is their fun, limited edition products for nerds like you and me. They sent us a chalky milk and they even had a halo soap. I wanna tell you all about their hair care, deodorants and more, but I'm running out of time. So in the meantime, head to the link in the description to check it out for yourself. New customers can get 20% off on orders of $20 or more. Make sure you use our code and click the link in the description below. Thanks for sponsoring Dr. Squatch and an extra big thank you to our Patreon members, Twitch subs, and viewers like you who got this far in the video. Have you ever heard of Oddball? Um, sometimes people would call me that. The goal of Oddball, okay, is to never touch it. Don't oh. ever touch it, okay? Just play the game like you're playing Slayer and completely okay. ignore this altogether. That's how you play Halo Infinite, is you just completely ignore this the whole time.